Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fresh Baked Disney, the best of Disney Baked Fresh Daily. I am your host, David. That's okay. The shorty back there is my wife. There's Ian. Welcome to Disneyland, Ian. I know. It's been it. so long. I took a train. He took a train. He took a train. He took a train. How long did it take you, Ian? Uh, in total, not counting the uh, the bus, uh, the security, it was about two-ish hours. Really? Is that all? Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. All right. Well, Ian's here. He 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 navigated to the land via bus. We're so glad he's here. He he actually got to endure the hell that is Toy Story or Harbor Boulevard bag check. That uh, said, once those extra lanes open up, that should help a lot. Yeah, they're doing a lot of permanent... The, the, like, the structure's there, the yeah. canopy is on it, yeah. but not all the lanes are open for it. Yep, yep. Uh, so, we're getting off to a late start this morning because uh, the park didn't open until 9, and, uh, you know, we were doing some other stuff, but it's a beautiful morning here at this end, and we're ready to show you guys a beautiful day at Disneyland. What do we got in store for you guys? Well, we're going to do a Big Thunder thing. Ian, I want to talk about Big Thunder and, uh, and its relationship to the Mine Train ride. Oh. That's one of my favorite things to talk about. Uh, we're going to be doing some Small World stuff today. Yeah. We got a small ride of Small World and some new merchandise that we found at World of Disney. The suits? That too, yes. That we, got, we, we, we will be seeing those. Uh, we're going to have lunch at the Jolly Holiday because they've got that Grilled cheese sandwich is triple cheese and bacon has a blackberry jam. Oh my gosh. All those words sound delicious. Put all those words in my belly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, we're going to do that and who knows what else. Uh, we can't ride a vehicle. I wanted to ride a Main Street vehicle today. Uh, while they're working but, on the uh, other curb. That they're working on the curbs back there. I don't know. If, well, you guys watch the construction video tomorrow probably. You'll see that. But they're still working on the, on the curbs. So that no vehicles today on Main Street. Uh, so, but we got some time to kill before lunch. Just a little bit of time. What, where so should we go? What should we do? Lunch? No, we're not having no. a snack. Before. What are you, a hobbit? <laughs> she is, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> that's true. Let me see your feet. <laughs> you have hobbit feet. I know. <laughs> the uh, per Liz, the Disney winds have taken us directly to the Jolly Holiday. We're going to start the show with lunch. How about that, Fresh Baked? That's a that's a first. Uh, but Liz, um, how about we mobile order this? <laughs> right? What? We can't make a mobile order. Is, the, is that sandwich oh. on the mobile order app? I, I don't know. We gotta beat the rush because it's already getting a little crowded in here. Yeah, it's, and, it's uh, bonkers. We gotta find us a table and find a place to yeah, a find some food. So right. yeah, let's go get a table and then we'll start looking at the menu. perfect in most ways. In every way. No, no, just most. Like, some of the ways it's not perfect. Larry. Some of the ways it's imperfect. Yeah. Sandra. Give me a name one. Uh, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, I guess you're right. This is practically perfect in every way. Let's I find am. out what this uh, sandwich tastes like. I thought there would be a lot more cheese. Three kinds of cheese. In the picture, it looked like it was just like oozing of like cheese and jam. And bacon. And jelly. Did you get some jelly in there? 
the jelly. I was hoping the jelly would be in the sandwich. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you the picture Ryan, shows the picture it in the sandwich. So well, because we you know we can take it apart and put it in I there. Mean, I think they did put it on the side so people would have wanted this. No, I know. Right. Why yeah. did they put it on there? Is it good? Put it on there. It's good. That was a good nod for me. No shrugs at all. Yeah. Did you see that? Shrugless. I'm gonna try it. Can I? Yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do half of it. Get that jelly right in there. You can't see the cheese in there. I mean the jelly, but it's in there. I put some in there. Okay. So it, the way it should be. Okay. That's tough bread. Is it rye bread? It's sturdy, whatever it is. It's sturdy. I do think you could use a bit more cheese and maybe yeah. more bacon. Oh like, yeah. Because there is good, it just needs yeah. more. Yeah. Up. You could furnish uh, Mickey's, Mickey's house with this. It would be indestructible. <laughs> Did I agree? Yeah, I agree too. More cheese? Just by looking at it, I knew it, mm -hmm. it, it lacked a lot of it. Yeah, it's good. It just needs some more of it. But, I mean, all the things together? Good. The bacon, the cheese, and the chili? Good. And the bread? It's fantastic. Very good. And go. <laughs> oh. Best one eaten in the middle. The crust is super, that's like the... I just, I wish I had more cheese and bacon. Yeah, it just needs a little bit. Well, the bacon's good. I think the bacon levels are good. No, I need more. It just needs more cheese. That's very good. But it's still really good. I was expecting not to be that good, but I was just looking at it, but it's very good. What about your turkey ciabatta? I mean, you can't go wrong. She kind of, she kind of, yeah, you went a little old school, a little, a little... I just, I love the slices of turkey on here. It's just so You're going to put mayo on top of the aioli too, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew she would. I'm going to take out these tomatoes. Let's give it some crunch. Oh yeah, look at that chip right there. That's fantastic. And put some mayonnaise. 20 minutes later, her sandwich is ready. That's a whole lot of bread. That's your bottom. You hear that crunch bread. though? Yeah. That's a good sandwich. You like it? Mm -hmm. well, that crunch is my teeth on this crust. Right? That's what I'm telling is you, that, dude. Yeah. It's a bit okay. It's not hard, but it's tough. It's really you got to yeah. It's sturdy. Yeah. That's some strong bread. It's actually not. The crust, the crust part of it, especially. Look at the see. <laughs> I got to tear it. Yeah. All right. By the way, house chips. Mmm. Better than regular chips, I I think. Oh, always. Yeah. You're a house chip guy. Also, one of the things that I love about Jolly Holiday is that it's one of the, I think it's one of the few locations that actually themed. You know the uh, what they serve it on with the little old school oh, newspaper. Oh yeah. That? You don't get that in, a, in really most don't. of the other places. They haven't, they stopped thinking the cups. Tropical Hideaway has the paper bag in that same Tropical Hideaway. Does it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, anyway, I dig that. I like, I think that's a cool touch because it's like, oh, you know, very good. it's old school. It's, mm -hmm. you know, back in the day. It's London. It's fish wrap. <laughs> yeah, right? We wish we were in London again. Huh? Ian, will you come to London with us will next time? Will you please? How many trips do you think I can go on? <laughs> All, All of them. Perfect. You got the Dapper Dan's back there performing on Main Street. This is one of those moments where the kind of thing you don't want to let pass by. You know, we kind of alluded to this on the Thursday night live stream. People are in a hurry. Yeah. You got agendas. You don't. I'm not asking that you watch the whole show. You don't have to sit there and just like. But at least recognize that right now Disney has said, "Hey." I think you'd like to have some some barber shoppers hanging on Main Street. I think you'd like that. So here you are, no charge. Here's some barber shoppers. They're handsome. They're funny. They put on a show. They sing really well. They really do. And then you just kind of walk down Main Street as you as you get serenaded by these guys, and just hear it, hear it, take it in, and then you can keep going. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to stop and watch. I mean, I would prefer if you did. It'd be great if you were into that. 
But that's part of the that's part of the uh, that Disney aesthetic that you don't get anywhere else. And we're just sitting here like not speaking. We're eating our lunches, our, our delicious jelly and cheese and bacon and turkey and ciabatta, and just sort of feeling. This is like my favorite thing about this one right yeah. now. Right now, actually, I'm talking too much. Yeah, as it turns out. Really <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna stop talking and listen to the Dapper Dance while I eat my lunch. All right guys, last stop for this one is a little tour inside Disney. Anna? Gifts. Why do I always do this, Ian? Disney Anna like America. Disney Anna Gifts. Uh, it looks like they've got another artist showcase, perhaps? Next Saturday. And some new stuff. Let's go take a look. Chris Pick, I need help with this one. This is a wall of rainbow unicorns. It's a authentic original, exclusive, Disney Parks exclusive. So it's in here in the Disney Honest Store, but why Why is Rainbow Unicorn a Disney Park exclusive? I don't get the hype of Rainbow Unicorn. It's not well, that I bad. think Rainbow Unicorn's amazing. I love Rainbow Unicorn. Is he like only in it just a like, couple of times in throughout Yeah, the but he's, he's like a rock star in her dreams. Oh, okay. Rainbow Unicorn. I, maybe is. I need to I've only saw it once. Really? I, it like really broke my heart. It was just all sad to me. Everything was just sad. It was just a sad oh, no. movie. Rainbow Unicorn is great. I love Rainbow Unicorn. I just don't understand why it's Hero Park exclusive. There's, I mean, look at this. It's just a fortress of Rainbow Unicorns, and there's more back there. They're 20 bucks. That's not bad. Guys, they have these things that I am really. I'm Jones and to get, but they're 90 bucks. Separately or together? It's a pair. They come as a pair. Oh, okay. You can't buy them separately. I mean, they would just sit there in the box and not do anything. But I would just own it and that's it. Like, that's... What a shame, right? I Collectors, like, we get stuck in these things where we can't actually do anything with our things that we collect because that ruins whatever collectability there is of it, but... Well, when we have the mansion, what we were talking about, you know... Later on in the show that we haven't got to yet. I hate that. We're going to have a mansion. Because <laughs> we're not traveling through time yet. Uh, Liz had her eye on this I, I want, cookie I want jar. It. I want them both. <laughs> this would be for, she like, She just wants an excuse my... to fill something with cookies, really, I think, <laughs> is all it is. I always had a cookie jar when I was younger. I told you it was, like, that Dutch-looking yeah. goose thing. A goose. A, go a goose. <laughs> So I mean, it's, oh, this so one this is one, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, so Mickey one's Mouse all collage. Mickey Mouse, and then this one is and all these are Disney yeah. classics. I Ooh, will look, it's Merlin. Clothes. And look, it's not bad. It's only $38. No, it's not. Is it ceramic? I think so. Yeah. And is this a thing? I don't know the celebration th theme that's going on, this it's collage. Just, it's just part of it, just the Mickey and 90th. Right, but, yeah. I, but I mean, there was a different... Uh, you know, art theme to that than, I get, than this. It's not have it's not under that exact same line, but it's right. still part. Of, that's why they're doing it. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, look at this though. These are fun. Yeah. Ten note cards. Now, a note card is what you send us like a, a letter to a friend. Yeah. Envelopes included mm -hmm. for thirty dollars. And then that is... This one's 20. Oh, those are note cards also, but yeah. it looks like a book. Yes. And this one has 20 cards because there's 10 designs, two of each. Got it. Can we... See, there's, oh, there, there's the prints. So they're all just vintage Mickey stuff. Oh, he's working in his office right here. Okay. Very nice. What are these? Oh, they've done these... I think... How many series are they on to now? Uh, it's, they're, like, they're mystery boxes. They're blind boxes. Right, but they're not... They're not... It's not Vinylmation. No, it's just its own. It's not. It's just its own it's little just, wine box thing. This, so yeah, this, this is series two. I can two. totally get behind this. Yeah, this is uh, series two of Kingdom of Cute. Hundred percent. Right? That is all great. All the ones that are, are they, are they put like little faces like on the subs and all that. Yeah. Stop it. You know what I like about this is that they're not trying to. They don't try to cram the image onto the same shape of a thing. No, yeah. It's they each all have their own, what their shape is, mm -hmm. and I now, love that. Like there's also a small world. Thing. Now, <laughs> so and these are. Oh, you know why? Because these are done by Wonderground. So they have artists working on them. Oh. And these are how much? 20 bucks each? Uh, and it's I, a mystery box. Yeah, th that's a bit much for that a little that little plastic, I'm gonna be honest. That's, yeah, we don't know how, how heavy or weighty these things are. Well, you can hold fill the box. But oh, yeah. uh, I think there's only one per box. Oh my god, oh. that's light. That is not substantial. Yeah, that 20 bucks for that, that's not. I'm still gonna get one. So, take that, Ian. 
So we got some Mickey Mouse 90th birthday prints, 125 each. Some of these are great. This is like classic right here. I like that one a lot. I like the scary old Mickey plush looking thing. That looks really like European. You mean the, the like art the style? Art, yeah. yeah. It's very Frenchy. I don't know why. It looks like a very French Mickey Mouse. Okay. I dig it. I like that one. I, don't I think that's I like my actually my favorite. I think I like that one, and that one's really cute. All right, everybody pick one. We'll get to walk home with one today. <gasps> no! Oh. Look at your face. <laughs> You're so precious. I want that one. No, we're not leaving with one Look of those. Look at number 18 now, 250. <gasps> That's probably really expensive. There are only looks like a few, maybe. There's 125. Oh, these are, these are These are prints. I don't think these Here's are... The other prints, not original. They're prints. They're not original paint. They're still limited, but... Right. They're like, prints. Right. I they, like only, they only made 250 of them. This is a thing that I didn't know was a thing. Giant Sequoia Certificate of Origination. So, it's... Sculptures of from Sequoia. Yeah, I, I saw this one the other time they came in. I think it's like salvaged wood from trees that had already fallen down. Listen, I sure hope they're not going around chopping yeah. out Sequoia. Yeah, it actually says salvaged. Oh, does it yeah. say salvaged? Okay, so there you they're go. Ones that, they're ones that were already down sometime. Like, I would be that guy in the comments, I, I, like, oh, I'd be how dare you? I would too. <laughs> but okay, so cool. Uh, we got some salvaged Sequoia wood here. In the shape of Mickey Mouse and by Ron and John Daniels. Now, how does that work? You got Ron and John. Does Ron Not to like be confused with the two who did many Disney movies? Right, <laughs> but but like, does Ron do the ears and John does the feet, or how does that? Or they do they like battle each other? They're like, no, I'm carving that part right now and get out of my way. It might just be the name of their company that they both own. I don't know. So you think they take turns? Maybe Ron does Ron does this one and John. That's not even Ron and John, is it? That's Daniel. John Daniels, so that's one of them. Daniels, oh, oh I'm so confused. It's so confusing. Yes. Uh, we've also got Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket from Ron and John and Daniels Woodland. These are wonderful and numbered. There's only 150. They made 150 of those. Yes. How long do you think it would take to carve out? Oh, a long time. Even if you're a pro? Yes. I think I went to the box, actually. I would get this just for the box. And then I would put all my cool stuff in the box. And then somebody would come over and they would ask me, I mean, that'd what's be, in the that box? I mean, that would be a $1,200 box. I think Pooh needs to work on his priorities. No, I think he knows what's up. Somewhere in this river of rain are Piglet and Tigger and Eeyore. Not sorry, they're, they live for a little further away. He's like... He's making sure he has food to survive the storm. Wow, he just got real dark there, babe. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna save my the honey. honey over my friends. They don't live in the same tree. Yes. No, he, no they, they were out running around in okay. one of the acres of woods. He, they were having an adventure. It started to rain, and Pooh said, I'm saving the honey. Even the ones that are spelled wrong. He wouldn't even know where the others were. He had to make sure he had food to survive the storm. You know, wait, honey's not the food. <laughs> you know, look, that's all he has. He doesn't know when those waters are going to seed, when rescue teams will arrive. Oh, like the first responders yeah. and things like that? It's, it's almost like when you're in Make sure you're on safe. Who's the first responder in the Hunter Acre Wood? Uh, Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin? Yes. Right, I think you're right. <laughs> Fun hanging out in Disneyana. Guys, I'm gonna collect everything. I want cookie jars. Yeah, she wants a cookie jar. And what do you collect? From there? Yeah. Those models, the wooden models. We still, you know what? We're gonna have to do that. We, we, he's had his eye on those for a while. No, have you have you made any yet? No, not yet, because I, I don't have the space. You know, we didn't even feature the wooden models in our little tour. You, I, no, but we have shown them off before. Oh, okay. We, we have shown them off. Uh, Fresh Break, tell us what you think. What, what kind of collection would you like to start of the stuff that we saw in there? Like Funkos? Are you into the Funko thing? Uh, what about the uh, the Wonderground? 
uh, Kingdom of Cute? Kingdom of Cute. That's cute. Uh, yeah, I might. Yeah, probably. We might have to get into that. Uh, but in any case, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Next up tomorrow is uh, a trip to Small World. We're going to see all, well, all the Small Worlds uh, and some Small World merchandise that we found at World of Color. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. World of Disney is what I meant to say. World of Color. Uh, no, they haven't officially announced it, so they, I think they want it to be like, look, Food and Wine's starting, World of Color's back. God, Food and Wine's back already? Well, in a couple weeks. Wow. Oh my gosh. I was just going to say, I wouldn't mind uh, there not being any kiosks all over the place. Oh no, there will That's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. For Spike We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!